Hi my YouTube beauties! It has been so long since I've last made a video. I know, I don't know what's wrong with me. But I am coming back with a nice, neutral, sultry Valentine's Day look. And I've played it up with some funky, um, sassy lips. And um, I'm not, I don't even know what I'm doing for Valentine's Day yet, but... This will probably be the look that I will be wearing. Um, I'm not sure about the lips, but I just gave a nice alternative. But, um, yeah, this is a nice, neutral, shimmery look. And um, I've used it, I've created the look by using my handy dandy, 100% guaranteed, um, flawless eyeshadow palette. And this is a naked the Naked One, as a matter of fact. And if you guys don't know, this is what it looks like. It consists of some mattes, but mostly shimmery colors. And they are absolutely amazing. And you just cannot go wrong with a neutral palette. I definitely dusted it off to create this look. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, and I also show you guys how I use my Ben Nye Banana Powder. And this is famous. Oh. It's like flowing everywhere. Um, this is pretty much famous and like I said, for Valentine's Day, I will definitely be dusting this on my face. Regardless of what we do, you have to glow and be highlighted for Valentine's Day because you want to look luxurious and tempting, don't you? So yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the look and let me know if you guys have any um, future requests request um for videos so um yeah i will see you guys in my next one bye so i totally forgot to mention my little um decorative piece in my background can you guys see my little red puckers are those not the cutest set of lips that you've seen like and they glow they light up when i saw these i know i had to have it anyway i got this from target if you're interested and I love them. I turn them on in my room all the time as I'm doing my makeup just because it's like so darn cute. Okay, so I am starting out with a clean face, just my brows. I'm going to take Indian Wood as a base and apply this to my entire lid space. And this is a really pretty golden cream color. And this is by MAC, by the way. I am going to then take a mixture between brown script and Swiss chocolate and apply this into my crease area just to add some um, extra dimension to my crease. Just to apply some shadow there. Okay, now I am taking my Naked palette in the color Smog, which is just a nice golden bronze color and I am going to pack this on top of where we applied the Indian wood base so just do patting motions patting motions okay so I'm going to go back in and I'm going to take the color right next to it it's called half baked and it's a lighter gold color. I'm just going to take the other side of the brush and apply this right in the center of the lid. Only on the center. And I'm doing this just so that it can look a little 3D instead of just um, one color across the lid. So just pop this right on the center. I'm going to highlight my inner corner and I am going to use the color Sin and this is a pinkish champagne color and I'm going to highlight there because I want my eyes to look to appear like brighter and more awake. So I'm going with Embark and this is an eyeshadow by MAC and I am just defining my outer um the outer corners of my eyelid and this is just just to deepen it up and smoke it out just a little bit just so that it appears more sultry
Okay, I'm just gonna take my Lime Crime liquid liner and just do a small cat eye, small winged out liner. I absolutely love this um, liquid liner. Like you guys can see how dark it is. It's freaking amazing. Okay, I am showing you guys my face apparently. Oh, okay, I'm gonna apply my MAC number two lashes with my Revlon um, adhesive. I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay, my lashes are on. I'm just going to apply a dark brown eyeliner to my waterline. Just to com complete the look and bring it all together. Alrighty, on to my face. I am going to be using an all-time fave, my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC50 and my Angled Flat Top um, Kabuki Brush by Sigma. And I'm just beginning to pat it on and then I'm going to begin stippling it and blending it out all over my face. I absolutely, absolutely love this foundation. I've been using it for years now. And it's just perfect, absolutely perfect. It's a perfect match. And I'm just gonna blend it all out, make it smooth. Okay, taking my oh so cute uh, beauty blender, I'm just gonna blend it out just a little bit so I can get that like airbrushed effect. I love my beauty um, sponge. Okay, I'm taking my concealer in NC45. This is the Studio Fluid Concealer. I'm putting that underneath my eyes as a small highlight, nothing too drastic. I don't want like a huge highlight. Just a little bit lighter than my skin tone. I'm going to blend that out using my the smaller part of my beauty blender. And I love blending my concealer with my beauty blender. Okay, so for my highlight, I'm going to take the infamous Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I'm going to apply that with my, um, just a sponge applicator. Okay, I'm raving about my Ben Nye Banana Powder. Okay, so I'm applying it here. I'm pushing it into my skin so that it can absorb, um, you know, the product. So I'm patting it, but I'm pushing it deeper in my skin. You guys probably can't tell. This highlight is good for any skin tone, so don't be afraid. Okay, so while I'll, um, I'm gonna let this sit on my face for a little bit, but in the meantime, I'm going to set the rest of my foundation using my Max um, Minimalized Skin Finish. That's it. Um, I'm just applying that where I didn't apply the highlight. And after that, I'm going to take the Elf Foundation Brush, and I'm just gonna brush away the excess from the um, Ben Nye Powder. I gave it some time to sit in my skin, so now I'm just wiping away the extra excess. Really gentle. Okay, and I'm just going to take the same brush that I used to set the rest of my foundation with and go over the um, highlight slightly. I'm going to contour using my Maybelline Queen Collection, not Maybelline Queen, the Queen Collection of Bronzer, excuse me guys. Okay, so I did that off camera. I'm um, showing you what blush I'm using. I'm using these two from NARS. It's my Damery blush palette. I don't know the names of the blushes. I'll leave it down in the description box. And I'm just applying that to my cheeks and blending it backward. And for as a um, highlight on my cheeks, I'm using Max Whisper of Guilt and applying that right above where I applied the blush.
Okay, now for the fun part with my lips, I am going to start out by lining them with Night Moth Lip Liner by MAC. It's just a really dark berry color. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to fill in the corners of my lips as well. And blend it out. So you should have something like that. I'm going to take one of my favorite lipsticks and this is Rebel by MAC. And I'm just applying that. Isn't this color gorgeous, you guys? Like, absolutely gorgeous. Good for any skin tone. I am going to then top that off with Max Dazzle Glass in Fantabulous. And I'm using a disposable um, lip applicator to do this. Only because I like the brush on the disposable one better. And I'm just applying that. And I'm all done. I'm just giving myself a spray with Fix Plus. And I am completed and glammed up, ready to go on my date. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, you guys. Um, thumbs me up. Love you guys so much for watching. See you later.